welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to get this makeup that I'm wearing. I was completely inspired by fall when I was putting this look together. I used some of my all-time favorite Makeup Geek shadows. To recreate this look, if you don't have these shadows, feel free to pull out similar colors that you have in your own collection. It'll work just the same. I really do hope you enjoy it. If you try it out, post a picture on Instagram or on Facebook. I'll leave my links below. Thank you so much for watching, thanks so much for subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hello my lovelies. To start, I'm using my Benefits Pore Professional Primer. I'm using that in the places that I get the most oily. I'm not using anything fancy to rub it in, I'm just using my fingertips. I've been really loving this BB Cream by Smashbox. It's the camera ready one. I'm taking some of that on a flat top kabuki brush and applying that all over my face. To brighten up my face and make it look more awake, I'm using MAC's Purp and Prime in Bright Forecast. I'm using that in the center of my face, over my cupid's bow, on my forehead, some down the center of my nose, and underneath my eye. And to blend that all out, I'm using my favorite brush at the moment. This one is from Real Techniques and it's their contour brush. Once that's all blended out, I like to take a foundation brush and go over everything one more time to make sure there's no harsh lines. For setting powder, I'm using Rimmel's Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in the color Nude Beige. I like to use this setting powder underneath the eyes and I usually take it with me in case I need to do any touch-ups. To warm up my face, I'm using this bronzer by Chanel. It's a cream bronzer and it's so pretty for achieving that natural, sun-kissed type of look. For me, this is one of those type of products that's way too expensive, but every time I use it, it's just, I, I literally, I can't get enough. To apply it, I'm just using this Eco Tools big powder brush. I'm applying it in all of the places that we would usually contour, so along my jawline, over my cheeks, on the sides of my forehead. I also take a little bit of that down my nose. I want to set that cream bronzer, so I'm going to go in with some chocolate Soleil from Too Faced with my NARS Eater brush and go over the places that we just bronzed. This is going to add a little more dimension to the face, it's going to chisel out our features a little bit more and help balance out the highlight that we applied. Here I'm taking some of that bronzer under my lip to make it look a little bit fuller and down the sides of my nose for some contouring. For blush, I'm using this first color here from the Hourglass blush palette that recently came out. It's called Mood Exposure. It's super pretty for fall, perfect for every day, and I'm loving this palette. As you can see, it gives that nice blush to the cheeks, nothing too overdone, and oh, it's just gorgeous. For highlight, I'm using this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I'm taking a little bit of that on a MAC 139, the same brush that I use to apply the brush and applying it on the tops of my cheekbones. I do also take a little bit of that down the center of my nose over my cupid's bow and a little tiny bit on my chin. To start the eyes, I'm going to take this first shade here, it's called Peach Smoothie, it's a Makeup Geek shadow. I'm going to take some of that on a big fluffy brush and apply that all over the eyelid. This is going to act as our transition shade when we go in with the other colors in a bit. Next I'm taking this goldeny orange shadow, also by Makeup Geek it's called Chickadee, and I'm taking that slightly into my crease and on my eyelid. Since I didn't add a base, I do go in a couple of times with this shadow just to build up the color intensity. This color is super pretty and it's going to look really nice peeking out of the other shadows that we apply in a minute. 
The next shadow that we're going to go in with is this one here. It's called Bitten. It's this nice cranberry color. It's super pretty for fall. It blends right into Chickadee and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm taking that right into the crease with a big fluffy brush. I just wiped off the same one that I used to apply Chickadee. So load up your brush and work it back and forth, back and forth into the crease. These shades are super blendable. Take your time with this. You can build this color up to the intensity that you want. Since I'm wearing this for more a daytime look, I kept the intensity to a minimum. To really make this look stand out, I took this color here. It's called Gold Digga and popped it right on the eyelid for a little extra oomph. I absolutely love these colors together for fall. It reminds me of the changing of the leaves during the fall time, the golds and the cranberries and the greens, and these shades just work well together. I love looks like this because they're fast, easy, a simple and effortless look that just makes you look put together. Here I'm taking a little bit more of that Bitten shade, the cranberry color, on a big fluffy brush and applying that right into the crease. Since we lost some of the color payoff when we applied that golden -y shade all over the lid, I like to go back with a little bit more of that Bitten just to make sure that that color really shows up. And with a big fluffy brush, I'm just blending those colors into each other. In this next step guys, you are seeing me step out of my comfort zone. I'm using some gel eyeliner to create a nice wing. I don't usually go for this, but I thought that it would look super pretty with this look. I was really happy with how it turned out. So you can either skip this if you're not a big gel eyeliner type of person like me, but it really makes the look stand out. To highlight the inner corner of the eye, I'm using Max Mylar. I love this shade, it really just makes the eyes pop. Once the liner's in place, I go back and take this color, also by Makeup Geek, it's this Coco Bear, this nice chocolatey brown color, and just stamp that right in the crease. This is adding a little more dimension to the eye and helping our eyes look a little more sultry. Here I'm using the same shade that we used in the tear duct, Max Mylar, to highlight the brow bone. I'm obsessed with this combo at the moment. This Lash Plumping Serum by Dior is perfect for giving that extra volume to the lashes. It takes any mascara that you apply on top of that and just takes it to the next level. If there's anything you have lying around that you're not too happy with, Try it out with this, guys. I promise you won't be disappointed. For the waterline, I'm using Urban Decay's Bourbon. It's not as harsh as black, and it really just helps my brown eyes pop. For the lower lash line, I'm taking Coco Bear and just smudging that along the lower lash line. Don't neglect this step guys when you're doing a look, it just really helps pull everything together. With this shade here, I picked up some of that on a small definer brush and just added that in the inner third of the lower lash line. I also picked up some of Bitten on that same brush and just overlapped the colors together. This step here is optional, but I just thought why not? I picked up some of this Envy color. It's a beautiful green, deep green type of shade and I added that, a little bit of that in the center and just blended it all out with a clean fluffy brush. Hit your lower lashes with a coat or two of mascara and we are good. For the lips, I'm using a combo of Max Strip Down and Sonia Kashuk's Mulberry Nude. That's it for the look guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try it out. If you do, let me know. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!
the deeper shade. Ooh. But you probably won't need explaining. Never knowing what could have been. That's what I was trying.